Okay. Hi there, my name's Colette McCann and I'm the Vice President for Iceland, one of our very exciting programmes that we're actually um, going to be starting very, very shortly, one of the first, well, the very first for, for Grand Circle and for Overseas Adventure Travel. So in preparation for all our, our lovely travellers coming to Iceland, um, I have come over um, just to make sure that everything is as it should be. And I've also come to meet Oti, who uh, is part of the search and rescue team, which um, operates throughout Iceland and is actually our Grand Circle Foundation. So hi Oti and thank you for allowing us to come today. Now Oti is having an extremely busy time at the moment and the reason for that is because as I'm sure you've all seen in the media is the, the eruption of the volcano which is in Oti's region. So Oti would you like to tell us a little bit about what you're actually doing just now as a volunteer within this organisation? Well, mainly uh, in, in the beginning of the eruption, we were uh, helping people who got lost or got tired or, or, or something like that, uh, maybe searching for lost people. Uh, but now we are we are we are caring about the area surrounding the volcano with uh, our special equipment. We are helping uh, making uh, walking paths or tracks to the volcano for people to see it, uh, and. Um, and now we are just uh, we are just we are just there. We are just in the area and uh, ready to help people if they need. And and we are having about sometimes maybe two to three thousand guests hiking there per day. Gosh. So that's uh, and uh, uh, more often than not they are they are not ready ready for a hike. They're not, okay. not hikers. Yes, but they're obviously really interested to see yes. this phenomenon. Yeah, and then that that uh, sometimes gets them in trouble. And, uh, that, and that's you're there what, to help. Yeah. And it's all volunteers through this organisation that, yes. that are managing this. Yeah, it's both uh, both we are volunteers and our uh, equipment and everything here uh, is uh, is money we have to raise by ourselves okay. as volunteers. It's not funded by the government or the local government or nothing like that. Okay, and. How important is the support from, uh, you know, companies like us, like Overseas Adventure Travel and our travellers? How important is that to the organisation in Iceland? Well, uh, for 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 us, the local team who is uh, who is uh, in, the, in this with you, uh, it's very important. Uh, it gives us uh, a little more flexibility in, 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 in renewing our equipment and, and stuff okay. like that. And I know that we are supporting the, the younger members of the team yeah. um, with some equipment for them. I'm sure they must be the lifeline of this organisation for the next generation coming up. Yeah, yeah. without them, we're, it, it, uh, it, well, we will we, just close down, I think. Uh, we, have to, we have to start somewhere by pre pre preparing new people and training them. And, and we, we start at the, uh, at the age of 14. And, uh, by the time they are 20, they are ready to take part in everything we do. Excellent. And just before we go, is there anything you'd like to say to our travellers who are desperate to start travelling with us again? Um, and Iceland is on, on the top of many of their of their lists. Is there anything you'd like to say to them? Well, just welcome to Iceland and uh, just stay safe here. Stay safe. Yeah. Thank you.